Hey guys, I see here. Hope everybody's doing well. And just a quick announcement: I am working on a PvP healer tier list video that I want to hopefully get out next week on Monday. I just want to make sure that I can do as well of a job as I can, so I don't get destroyed by Sawman UK. But today's video is about being adaptable, and I say that because after I released my selfish versus support set video, it truly has had an impact on kind of how I view BGs since then and you know before I go into a BG if I'm testing a build or I am just wanting to have fun obviously I have those equipped no problem but I always make sure to have a set of pariah in my pocket a my set of iron blood in my pocket and also danger trickery as well for weapons and jewelry because if the match does get sweaty, which sometimes it does, and when it does, I don't want to be in some knockoff set that I'm, or sets that I'm testing, because I'm just going to be dying constantly, and that's not fun for me. So in those moments, when they do happen, I, I will either slide, you know, swap in Pariah or Iron Blood, depending on the scenario. Typically, it, it happens very rarely in solo queue BGs, but when I do a queue or you know pre-made queue with four people, sometimes I'll we'll just go against other high MMR players. One time I was in a four-man pre-made and we wound up going against Sarah and Company, Sukunomi, Project Gohan, and I think Strat Stratus, I think his name was his name was. And I always look at the roster before the game starts, and I saw it was them. I said, "Oh hell no!" So I immediately took off my shock exoskeleton because that's one of my fun sets slotted on iron blood and i said hey we're gonna wait for them over here by our spawn and we'll fight them over here because from the way it looks it was a two team bg the third team didn't even spawn in and we were the weaker team and it played out exactly how i knew it was gonna play out you know we, we were uh dying not a lot but we weren't really winning the fights and whatever but you got to be adaptable and that bg i made the right choice switching to iron blood because if i had a set like shock exoskeleton which doesn't have any armor values okay it's not a true heavy armor set i would have been smoked and it would have made the bg a lot worse because i wouldn't be able to heal my team because i would be the first one dying because i would get focused and i just wouldn't have the mitigations to get the job done so it was a good it was a good call and i'm glad that i had those sets in my pocket just in case and another example that i want to share is i was testing a set in that bg i always forget the name but it's the one that looks like the elanir private arena right the housing one and i'm testing my set on my templar and for whatever reason this purple team rolls up and i am just getting obliterated and i don't even understand why so then i go back in the same set come to find out they're all running heavy attack builds you know lightning staff wall of elements with necromancers and sorks i'm just like are you kidding me so the next time i die I slot on Pariah, and I'm still getting melted. I, 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 I don't remember if I died or not, but yeah, I think I did the third time. And then after that, I'm like, okay, going for Iron Blood, and of course, 33% damage mitigation is freaking strong. And it was a it was a wrap after that. I didn't have anything to worry about. But it's moments like that where if I had stayed with my set that I was testing, I don't even remember what set it was, but it was no way appropriate for that particular bg and because i made the changes then the bg was more fun for me because i wasn't dying as much and when you're just getting smoked the whole time i've seen people go you know zero and ten two and twelve and i don't even know why they keep even jumping in but you know credits the credit to them that they're getting their getting their reps in i guess so long story short don't be hard stuck on your sets be adaptable be prepared and make the change if you think it's warranted if you don't want to make the change and you are just trying to get that experience with this particular set and you're really testing it out okay fine don't you know no big deal just don't get pissed off when you're getting one shot by you know the same player because they're just doing so much damage right and i think it's also important to know like I said before, I have fun sets, right? Fun sets are my old gen sets. I can use those in most BGs, but when our, there are particular players out there that just do too much damage, I know I can't run these sets. And that's okay, because I can just change them out. It's not a big deal for me. So, Pariah, Iron Blood, they're OP as hell. 
but I don't think you need to use them in every single BG. Just wear them when you need to. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next week for the TLS video. See ya.